What's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the two special types of trees that spawn throughout the month of October in Lumber Tycoon 2, so let's get straight into this. <laughs> So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the two special types of wood that spawn throughout the month of October. And if you don't know what these are, these are the sinister wood and the spook wood. So let's go outside my front door and I can show you them right here. So this is the spook wood and this is the sinister wood. So let's start with the spook wood, shall we? So the spook wood currently sells at a log price of $19 per unit and it sells for a plank price of $54 per unit. So that's pretty valuable, but you're probably wondering how much this one costs then. Well, no worries. This one costs $25 per log unit and $90 per plank unit. So that'd be even more expensive. Now you're probably wondering, where do you even find these trees, Tyler? Well, I even have information brought to you by the wiki itself. And I even discovered something that I didn't even know. So let's go over to it. The trees actually take three hours to spawn completely. So if you have three hours in the day, then go find yourself a tree. It might be spawned. But did you know it is probably easier to find it earlier in the morning? Look at this. Spook spawning is not continuous throughout October. However, saplings appear to grow as clusters around 6 a.m. Eastern time and grow throughout the day until they die or they are cut. That is really interesting. I did not know that, which, wow. So, basically, these trees, they're gonna, most of them spawn at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and they grow throughout the day from then onwards. So, so if I was looking in the morning and it's the night time over them, over by them, it's probably not going to be found, so I probably have to look at a nighttime myself, and then I'd find it. This is what the sinister wood looks like. It's actually lighter than the spook wood, by the way. So this is super super light, whilst this spook wood is super super heavy. Bear that in mind. And they both take about three hours to grow, and this sinister wood is about a hundred times rarer than this spook wood. Now you're probably wondering, Tyler, you haven't told me where they spawn yet. I'll get onto that right now. So, spook trees can spawn in places like grass, cliffs, and roads. And it is the only type of tree that does spawn on roads like cliffs and the grass as well. So this is a very limited tree. It, it, there is a misconception out there that most people do think that it just spawns everywhere. Even I thought that myself, and I, I'm just shocked to know that. I did not I did not know that. So I brought you information, brought me information. We both learned something in today's video. Isn't that interesting? And if you do like learning stuff in this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to learn in even more videos of mine. Also, another place that you'll be able to find Spookwood is probably over like in ob unobtainable areas. So I don't know, on the edge of the volcano, maybe in the in the maze maybe places that you're probably not going to be able to get it back legitimately and that is pretty cool if i do say so myself and the sinister trees they spawn only in the hills i think only in the hills i'm not sure i'll double check that but so the sinister trees can only be found on slate so that is any rock or cliff inside of the game the color does not matter so it could be any of the rocks the ground typically grass and the road so basically everywhere that the spook spawns as well so that is all that i've got for you in today's video i hope it helped you it's a bit of a short video i will be continuing more lumber videos in the future because the poll that i put up has asked for it so i'll continue that in the future for you guys as well Anyway guys, that's it for me today. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this from me on the channel, then make sure to turn your notification bells on. And that way you get to stay up to date whenever I upload a video on the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye!